Good morning. Welcome to worship at the United Churches. We're so glad that you are here. We're grateful for everybody who's here in the house and everybody who's joining us on Zoom for worship this morning. This is the third Sunday of Advent. Let heaven and nature sing. Today we are lighting the joy of can- uh, the joy. We are lighting the candle of joy. Just a few announcements as we get started, um, and then I'll invite you to read through the rest of the happenings for the week, but I want to call your attention that we have a need within our church congregation of a couple families that are struggling in this season due to raising rents and and medical debt, and so if you are able this week to to grab a gift card to uh, maybe a Visa card or Safeway or Walmart, something that would cover groceries and things for the kiddos for Christmas, that would be appreciated. You can get those to me. Um, You can drop them by the church office as we try to help out a few of our own um, this week. Thank you to everybody who participated in our giving tree for a safe place, Um, and that was generous of you and wonderful, and we hope that you will have a few more acts of kindness this week towards those within our um, congregation. It's an exciting week. It's the week leading up to Christmas, and there's lots going on. And so Tuesday night, our youth group and choir are going caroling. And if you want to join us, be here at 5.30 on Tuesday. We will load up, and we will go visit some of our elders and sing Christmas carols at their front doors and just uh, travel around town having fun um, Christmas caroling. And then on Thursday evening, you're invited back here at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary and on Zoom for our Advent and Christmas concert. Um, More fabulous music on that uh, event. And then next Sunday is what? Christmas Eve. So in Christmas Eve morning, we'll have Advent 4. We'll have two services. If you come at this time, there'll be a special visit by the Friendly Beasts, and we hope that you will be here for that. And then at 7 p.m., we'll have our Christmas Eve service with music and candles um, and just a lot of joy as um, as Christmas is arriving. And so we hope that you will be with us for all of these things um, this coming week. But today, we are here to worship. We are here to celebrate the joy that comes through the Christ child into the world on Christmas. And so let us worship together.
Congregation, will you join us in the call to worship by reading the bold text? Listen, all creation rejoices. Can you hear it? The wilderness and desert are breaking out in song. The crocus blooms with joyful singing. The mountains join in the refrain. With joy, let us join our voices with creation, worshiping our creator who brings forth a new song in the world. Give us ears to hear the melodies of praise that fill the world around us. And as we hear the songs, teach us to sing, to dance with abandon, to rejoice in the wonders of your grace. Open our eyes to the places where joy is springing up from the parched ground, where new life plants her roots in the soil, where seeds of hope awaken in the ground and quiver of a world to come. May we walk gently on the earth and cultivate gardens of peace and justice. This is good news for us today. have found blessing in God's sight. Let us rejoice, for in the mercy and love of God, the eyes of the blind will be opened, the ears of the deaf will be unsealed, those who cannot walk will leap like deer, and the tongues of those who cannot speak will sing for joy. As sojourners together, lead us by your spirit, O God, on the path of justice, and sing us home with gifts of joy and gladness. Amen. Amen. I'd like to invite Mike and Peggy to come forward and light our Advent candle. Isaiah 61.10 says, I will sing... I will sing for joy in God, praise erupting from deep in my soul, for I am clothed with the garments of salvation, covered with the robe of righteousness. Each Sunday leading up to the celebration of the birth of Jesus, we reflect on a theme that centers us as we wait with eager expectations for the glory of God to be revealed. This Sunday, we center on joy. Today is Gaudet Sunday, a day of joyous celebration. Philippians 4 admonishes us to rejoice in the Lord always, to never tire of rejoicing. The presence of the Holy is among us, bringing truth, beauty, and peace. The psalmist prays with us. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. The prophet Joel reminds us to not fear, for God is about to do a new thing and fill the earth with joy. When days get bleak and the weight of the world falls on our shoulders, we re-remember God, what God has done, what God is still doing for us, through us, and by us. Today, as we light the candle of joy, we lift our voices in praise to the Holy who walks this earth, journey, earth and journey with us through the person of Jesus and the power of the Spirit. And now if you're here in the house and, and you are able in body and spirit to stand as we sing our opening hymn, For You, O Lord, My Soul in Stillness Waits, verses 2 and 3.
You may be seated. And let us pray together. Womb of creation, we often get caught up in what we do not have, the material things we lack, the access to privileges we may lack, the answers, even that seem to escape us in critical moments. Forgive us of the times we forget to remember you. Hold us accountable for the moments we failed to see you in the blessings of ages past. Help us reconnect with our joy and our gratitude. Remind us to name our joys, our miracles, our deliverances, our redemptions, one by one by one, for you are there in them all. Friends, hear God. God hears what is named aloud, what is named within, and what is yet to be named. Go forth knowing that the Spirit of our Lord is upon you, and this joy you have, the world did not give it, and the world cannot take it. Amen. And with that joy, let us stand again and sing for the beauty of the earth, verses 1, 3, and 5. And so, friends, may the peace of Christ be with you. And also you. are invited now to share that peace with one another. If you're on Zoom, you're invited to unmute yourself.
I'm going to invite Dana to come forward and read our first scripture for today from the book of Isaiah. The reading from Isaiah 9, 2 through 7. The people walking in darkness are seeing a brilliant light upon those who dwell in the land of deep shadows. Light is shining. God, you have made the nation greater. You have brought them abundant joy. They celebrate in your presence as with the harvest celebrations or as warriors celebrate when they divide spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the weight on their shoulders, the rod of their oppressors, you have shattered it as you did at the defeat of Midian. For every boot that trampled in battle, every cloak that was dragged through blood, is now used as fuel for the fire. For as a child is born to us, an heir is given to us, upon whose shoulders dominion will rest. This one shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Protector, Champion of Peace. This dominion and this peace will grow without end, with David's throne and realm sustained with justice and fairness, now and forever. The zeal of Yahweh, omnipotent, will accomplish it. Amen.
Amen. A round of applause. They're amazing, aren't they? I would like to invite all the children up to the quilt for time on the quilt. Come on up. And while you come up, bring all your joy, all your hope, and all your... What was last weekend? Do you remember? Peace. Hope. Peace. And today is the third Sunday of Advent, which is all together now. One, two, three. That was a spice level one. We can get up to a spice level four. You ready? Today is the third Sunday of Advent, and we're all going to say joy on the count of three. It's the Sunday of one, two, three. Joy. That was great. I loved the choir joining in. And what makes us feel joyful? Um, being nice. That makes me feel joyful. My doll. Your doll? Make friends of people who will be loved. Make friends of people who will be loved. Yes, Witten? Uh, okay. I could to do lovey. A lovey? You have two loveys that make you joyful? What makes you feel joyful? What makes you feel joyful? Sleeping. Sleeping. For me, I feel really joyful with music. Who here has felt joyful, especially that last song? It was very, didn't that make you feel joyful? Made you feel joyful? Me too. Who feels joyful when they're dancing? I know. Who feels joyful when they're celebrating Christmas? Who feels joy joyful when they are, I love that we said we love each other, when we are making friends, when we have our loveys, when we have things we care about. What, what else? Make people be loved at Christmas Eve. Make Santa be good. When Santa be, if, if you be good, Santa will give you presents. Yes, this is true. Did you have something, Marigold? Okay, nope, that's fair. Uh, yes? Um, celebrating Christmas. Celebrating Christmas is joyful? Um, um, helping people that feel left out. Yes, helping people that feel, oh boy, we're full of them. Yes, one more. Learning about Hanukkah. That also makes me feel joyful because light is what we're going to talk about today. Light, when there's light out, I feel really joyful. When it's dark, it's hard. Yes, Witten, what would you like to say? We're making cookies. That makes me feel really joyful. Yes, we're going to make cookies after church, and you guys are all welcome to participate in that joy. But also, the light. When it's light out during the daytime, I feel joyful. When the sun is shining, who here wants to go play? Right? When, the, when we feel, but then when it's dark out, we have to find the light inside us. So that's why we put up Christmas lights, and we celebrate, and we feel light and joy inside. Yep, and we decorate cookies. So with all that, everybody, let's pray for joy. Dear God, thank you very much for all of these wonderful people here today to celebrate the joy of music the joy of laughter, the joy of cookie decorating, and the joy of celebrating Jesus Christ and Advent. Amen. Let's go bake some cookies. And may we all catch a little bit of what they have. <laughs> Our first uh, poetry reading for today is Ruach by Andy Wade. Ruach is the Hebrew word for the wind or the spirit of the divine. In fact, our Hebrew siblings, when they pray the breath prayer, it begins, Rebano Shel Olam, Holy One, God is the creator and master of the universe. The one who in the beginning spoke and there was light 
and there was darkness, and there was life. And it is God manifest as Rauk Elohim, the wind and the spirit, that is the very breath of existence. It is the breath of life that animates us. To live is to breathe. So hear this poem entitled Ruach by Andy Wade. God breathes into the void, whispering peace into chaos, light into darkness, substance into nothingness, divine likeness from earth, ruach, divine presence in the womb, substance from human frailty, light into the darkness, whispering love into chaos, God breathes, filling the void, ruach.
like to invite Beth to read our next scripture. Um, Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. There were shepherds in the area living in the fields and keeping night watch by turns over their flock. The angel of God appeared to them and the glory of God shone around them. They were very much afraid. The angel said to them, you have nothing to fear. I come to proclaim good news to you, news of a great joy to be shared by the whole people. Today in David's city, a savior, the Messiah has been born to you. Let this be a sign to you. You'll find an infant wrapped in a simple cloth lying in a manger. Suddenly there were a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, glory to God in high heaven and on earth, peace to those on whom God's favor rests. Now the angels 
And now Elaine is going to read another poetry poem for us. Remembering that it happened one night by Wendell Berry. Remembering that it happened once, we cannot turn away the thought as we go out cold to our barns towards the long night's end, that we ourselves are living in the world. It happened in which it when first happened, that we ourselves opening a stall, a latched throne open countless times before, might find them breathing there, foreknown, the child bedded in straw, the mother kneeling over him, the father standing in belief he scarcely can believe, in light that lights from no source we see, an April morning's light, the air around them joyful as a choir. We stand with one hand on the door, looking into another world that is this world, the pale daylight coming just as before, our chores to do, the cattle all awake, our own frozen white breath hanging in front of us, and we are here as we have never been before, sighted as not before, our place holy, although we knew it not.
and let us pray. O Holy One, we come joining with all of creation, giving you our thanks and praise. Restore in us this day the joy of your salvation. We come bringing our prayers to you, those of despair and hope, sorrow and joy. Understanding that there is war and hunger and sadness, that there is injustice and oppression that darkens our world. And so we pray today that you would light the candle of joy in us. Joy that is not Pollyanna happiness, but joy that is an act of resistance. Joy that is born of children and music and cookies and kindness. May we feel that joy. May we embody that joy, the hope and peace and joy of this season. As we wait and as we feel it coming quickly, Emmanuel, to live in us forever. And so we give you praise. And today we pray as Jesus did the prayer of our Savior. Please join me, wonderful counselor, mighty God, eternal protector, champion of peace. Hallowed be thy name. Emmanuel, God with us. Hallowed be your name. In us, through us, and around us, your kingdom come, where the wolf will live with the lamb, and the lion will feed with the calf. Bread of life, feed us with your truth. For our indifference to the wonder of your coming, forgive us. Protect us from the constant dangers of enticing temptations we face each day. Word who became flesh and lived among us. We have seen your glory, full of grace and truth. As you come to us now, you will come to us again in glory, when we will join all heaven and earth in giving you blessing and honor and glory and might forever. Amen. And now as we are able, let us stand and sing our closing hymn, Awake, Awake, and Greet the New Morn, verses 1 and 2. Amen. You, you might as well sit down because I got a few thank yous to, to gate. Wow.
What a joyous day to be in worship together. And thank you to the choir, to the musicians. to the tech team, to our soloists, and to April. Thank you. And so my friends, after the uh, benediction and the postlude, if you would like to join me around the table for communion, you are invited to do so. So all of creation is rejoicing in the presence of the Creator, and we too are invited to do so. May we be people of joy this week. May we feel it, may we practice it, and may we share it. And as our hymn just said, may we fill the earth with its ringing, music to heal the broken soul and hymns of loving kindness. May that be our goal for the week. So go, friends, knowing you are beloved of God and that the solidarity of our brother Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit is with you now and always. Amen. <laughs>